How you doing? How you doing this morning? Um, a verdict was reached in the white man who gunned down a black man for the so-called stand your ground. And um, the white guy who killed Marquise McLaughlin um, got sentenced up to 30 years. But the significance of it is that um, he was found guilty of it. It was on video last summer in the parking lot. Um, Marquise was and his girlfriend and a child were parked in the handicap section. The guy went into the store. Black dude went into the store just to get some items. The white guy confronts his girlfriend in the car, questions the parking spot, has words with her. Black dude comes out, sees the white dude. I'm like, why are you talking to my woman like that? What's up? Because, of course, you're going to take the defense because you shouldn't be having that kind of situation as a way to be diplomatic about it. And the white guy was just kind of being rough about it. And so black dude proceeded to push the dude, say, yo, back up, you know. So he back, he walks off, and then this white dude pulls up a gun on him and then caps him. And... He tried to say a stand your ground, but he and he and he uh, instigated the situation. But she hit a climax to what happened, and he, and he was shouting at the guy's girlfriend, "What do you expect to happen?" So this happened all over a handicapped parking spot, and the guy lost it. What's surprising for me is that the white dude was actually found guilty uh, of of uh, this particular crime of a stand your ground because. This didn't happen with George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin, so and maybe this is a makeup call. I don't know. And of course, the license to kill black folks um, seems to be green lighted so often. So whenever you hear or see justice actually happen, you're like, wow, this actually happened? Because that was kind of like, whoa, they actually found a white dude guilty of killing a black man and saying, stand your ground. Wow. But it's very tragic. It's very sad. Um, it's another senseless act. And all parties are lost because of the circumstances. And, you know, again, using something as a weapon as opposed to common sense. It's just another sad travesty in a situation. But anyway, this was uh, my take on the white man who gunned down the black man from standing your ground. And he was found guilty of, murder, of manslaughter. Forgive me your thoughts and your takes and, your, and uh, hit, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button on this and on this very serious matter. Let's discuss. Have a great day. Peace and put them guns down.